We're checking to see if the four car is going to do likewise. Best thing they could do is get him out of the racetrack, even if they have to bring him back into the pits. If he does not take the initial green, and we do see the car moving, folks. The four car is headed to the speedway. All right, that's what you call some dedicated working as they've got the car back in shape. Keep in mind, the car was wrecked. They haven't had an opportunity to check it. All right, that's what racing's all about. 50 laps around, 40 cars take the green. Moves out and wasting no time, blasting around the outside. Keep your eyes on that green, 33X. Mark LaJoy in the Ford car out there as well. The 21X car, Steve LaRose, running into trouble here on the very first circuit. He's in the infield and we stay on the green. A lot of action as they swap spots through the field. Keep in mind, the four car is untested. That's a lot of confidence. Driving car number four is Mark LaJoy. Not taking many chances, but nonetheless is still out there. Dave Etheridge in trouble with the 54 car. He won the last time out. Finds himself in trouble here on the very first circuit. Actually, on lap number three. And he's hoping to catch a caution, but it doesn't appear to be the case. The car is rolling. We stay going on the green. A real battle up front as they go three wide through turn three and four. Etheridge is going to go down another lap, so he might as well just keep on trucking as it's a fruitless effort to try to bring out the caution flag. We are still racing, and it's costing him some valuable real estate. Evidently, car number 54 has come to our grinding all through the turns. For stock division. As a green flag comes out, Russ Holly looking to pick up where he left off with a 44. We've got trouble through the turns. Ed Clark in car number eight. Mike Alferio in the 98 going around. Car number four, we're just about set for the green flag. Come out as we speak. If that it does, Russ Holly leads the field down to turn number one. John Puglisi holding on to that second spot. Kelly Lindstrom one, runs third. Jerry Savigny running in the fourth spot. Alferio is down a lap. So Eddie Lamb dropping back just a bit with car number 41. Lap number seven being scored this time around as Savigny a little loose out of turn number four. We've got three wide as Steve Lozniak looking to break into the top five with a 0-3. Lozniak battling with Pete Brockett Jr. in the 88. Eddie Lamb in the 41. Throw in Tim Morissette in the three. Chris Downton in the 33X and 34 of Tucker Reynolds Jr. also working their way to the front. Side by side, bumper to bumper, they work their way down to turn number one. Tim Morissette way up high with the three. That allowed Danny Wagner in car number double zero to work his way by. Russ Holley has a commanding lead at the present time. Lap number nine being scored this time around. Lindstrom continues to run second. Steve Lasniak on the move with the 0-3. He works up alongside the 76 of Jerry Savigny. They're battling for the fourth position out on the speedway, running sixth, car number 88 for Debbie Brockett. We're watching Mark Gear to issue the green flag side by side, Russ Holley and Kelly Lindstrom. Russ Holley, a couple car length advantage over the second place runner, which is once again Kelly Lindstrom. A little bumper tag into turn number three. Drivers on the binders, Steve Lozniak, the hardest on the binders. Everybody stays pointing the right direction. We continue to run under green. Lozniak looking to make his way past Jerry Savigny in the 76. They're battling for the fourth spot. Joy continues out on the speedway with car number four, the current point leader, running a cautious race at this point. But LaJoy frequently runs that way in an early feature event. Top 
two cars looking to pull away from the third place runner, which is now Steve Lasniak in the 0-3. Pete Brockett now up to fourth, being chased down by Chris Downton, in car number 33X. at Sean Puglisi, Tim Morrison, and Frank Barr. Trouble looks as though it's Ken Lozniak 66X. We can't quite see it through the dust, but it is in fact Lozniak in that automobile. He's got the car fired up, looking for a break in the action. And Lozniak going lap down to the rest of the field in that spin. Meanwhile, Russ Holly in car number 44. Lozniak has the car fired up as he looks to rejoin the field. That move may have cost him a couple of laps as Lozniak now going down a second lap to Russ Holley in the 44. Kelly Lindstrom looks to be closing in again as Russ Holley had been able to add to his advantage. Lindstrom running in the runner-up spot with the 54. Then it's a battle between Steve Lozniak in the 0-3 and Chris Dowden in the 33X. They're battling for the third position on the speedway. Then it's Pete Brockett battling with Tim Morissette, Frank Barr, Terry Page right there with the 28, and the 43 of John Puglisi. The field pretty neatly strung out around the one-third mile oval. Number 20 coming up this time around. We're looking for Russ Holly to cross the line. Kelly Lindstrom about car, five car lengths behind. Chris Down now running third. Steve Lozniak holding on to the fourth spot. Tim Morissette running fifth. He brought it now back to the sixth spot as Ken Lozniak again off the speedway with the 66X. Lozniak has fired up and rejoined the field, but caution is out on the speedway. Then together in several restarts in this main event. Again, Russ Holley able to hold his ground and retain the lead, but Steve Lozniak in trouble with the 0-3. Lozniak unable to get that car up to racing speed. It looks as though it, it continues to slow down the back stretch. Tough break for Lozniak as he's been up in a top running position with that automobile. Chris Downton now up to the runner-up spot with a 33X. Downton now running second. Lindstrom back to the third spot. Tim Morissette now up to fourth. Oh, Steve Lonsniak looks as though he's got that problem fixed as that car back up to racing speed. Sean Manning in trouble on the backstretch as Manning going down the backstretch the wrong way. He's coming to a halt off the speedway. Hopefully he can get the car fired up. And as we do, as we speak, he does. Sean Manning back on his way down a lap to the rest of the field as Russ Holley and Chris Downton able to make their way by. looks to swap a little paint through the turns. Ed Clark and Roy Kelsey swap the paint on the over in turn number one. Now Clark going the wrong way. Car going around Paul Kala. Car number 86. He picked up John Anzalone in the 83. Anzalone in trouble on the backstretch. Looks as though Anzalone losing a wheel on that automobile. Oh, the green flags back out. We're underway as we look at the final 26 laps into the record books. Chris Downton right with Russ Holley through the turns. Downton with the green number 33 working alongside the black number 44 side by side. In turn number three, two strong runners this afternoon as Chris Downton looks for the lead as Russ Holley loose out of turn number four. That cost Holly dearly as Tim Morrison able to work down low for that runner-up spot. Holly now back to third. Black flag going out to one of the tail end runners as Russ Holly looking to get back into that runner-up position as he pulls up alongside Tim Morrison. Sean Manning loose on the front stretch. Manning has the car rolling. Black flag. Going out to car 
number 25. That's Stephen Jones from Farmington. Jones, he looks to retire the 25 to the infield. Now the backstretch, Chris Doughton with a strong lead at the present time. He's looking to put the seven of Scott Garrity down a lap. Russ Holly now back to second. Tim Morrison running third. Kelly Lindstrom runs fourth. Frank Barr running corner for 73 cent. Next to line, then it's the 88 of Pete Brock and Dan Wagner in the double zero. The 28 of Page, the 57 of Drew Erickson, and the nine of Joe Babinski. Number 30, this time around, it's 20 laps remaining in this 50 lap ride for the Pure Stock Division. running into some trouble. Car number 22 has got the car running. Car was a little loose over on turn number four with a little help from some of his fellow drivers. He was able to get the car pointing in the right direction and continue on his way. The front runner is looking to mix it up with some of the back runners at the present time. It's Scott Garrity, car number seven, the zero one of Frank Catone. some of the front runners to mix up their positions just a bit. Chris down across the line, complete lap number 33. Russ Holley a couple of car lengths behind with the 44. That's Tim Morris set a couple of laps, but car lengths behind him. Kelly Lindstrom, the 54, the 73 of Frank Barr. Keith Rocket, Drew Erickson, Terry Page, Joe, Joe Babinski, and Dan Wagner next to the line. Jr. slowing with the 34 once again. So mechanical difficulties settling in on that automobile. Ron Swaney and Mike Alferio going down a lap as Chris Down looks to put them a lap. Reynolds looks to retire the 34 to the infield. Black flag going out to Al Chasco. Car number 58 from Clinton. The little Chevy Nova experiencing some sort of mechanical difficulties. Russ Holly closing within a car length now of Chris Doughton on the backstretch. Matt Martinelli, car number 78X, going down a lap as Tim Morissette works on by Morissette, closing in on Russ Holly in the 44, Kelly Lindstrom in the 54K. So let's return to the speedway. Lap number 40 being scored this time around has been a constant going down a lap to Chris Downton in the 33X. Well, actually, that was Drew Erickson's 57, so we're not quite sure whether he's gone down a lap. Not quite sure what the problem is with Benicasso's 15. He's not running on the asphalt at the present time. Left front tire down on that automobile. Tough brake. 
as he looks to retire that car to the infield, joining Tucker Reynolds Jr., Jonesy in the 25, and Sean Manning in the 44X. Shaping up for the lead over in turn number three, Chris Downey and Russ Holly bumper to bumper on a turn number four. Lap number 43 being scored this time around. Tim Morrissey continues to run in the next spot. Caution out on the speedway as Rob Goulet wallet. Miss Moose Down and Russ Holly in a little faster pace down the back stretch into turn number three. Gear points to turn number four. That's where he wants them side by side as green flag back out on the speedway. Russ Holly settling down to that runner-up spot, contending with the challenges of Tim Morissett. Morissett pulling up alongside for that runner-up spot. Russ Holly proving to be equal to the task in turn number three. Kelly Lindstrom holding on to that fourth position with the 54K. Then it's Frank Barr, Drew Erickson, George Murray, Joe Babinski, and Ernie LaRose. Roy Kelsey to the infield with car number 38, lap number 45. Coming up this time around, five to go marker should be displayed on the field. Tim Morissette now taking over second. Word has it a problem may be developing on Tim Morissette's number 33X. As word has it, a tire dangerously low on that automobile. As Tim Morissette now looks to make a bid for the lead, pulls up alongside the 33 in turn number one. Black flag going out to one of the competitors. Looks as though Paul Kala with the hood up on that automobile. Meanwhile, a battle continues up in front. The 33X of Chris Downton has the lead. Tim Morissette trying every trick in the book to try to take it away. Russ Holley now becoming a factor as that allows Tim Morissette to have to contend with him and less on Chris Doubt. Two to go marker going out to the field, lap number 48 being scored this time around. George Murray Jr. slowed for a moment with a 70. Down continues to set the pace. Tim Morissette runs second. Frank Barr and Joe Babinski get hooked together. Everybody gets pointed in the right direction as we continue to run under green. White flag already being displayed to the field. Chris Down working his way down the back stretch into turn number three, looking for his first feature victory. Car number 33X. The checker flag in here, down a little loose out of turn number four, but he holds on for the win. Selling for the runner-up spot, car number three for Tim Morissette. Russ Holly in for the third spot with a 44, as we've got trouble over in turn number four. Kelly Lindstrom finishing in the fourth spot, unofficially in for the fifth position. We believe it's Joe Babinski. We'll wait for the scores to give us. Victory lane, and the driver trying to get a nice breath of air after a long, hard run. The 50 lap mini stock feature lining up in the pit area. We've got one more to go this afternoon. Once again, the finish is unofficial until they pass a post-race inspection of the 50-lap Pure Stock feature event. Holy mackerel, he gets it up there pretty high. Moose, congratulations, young man. You had yourself quite an afternoon. From utter disaster to start with to the victory lane ceremonies. How do you explain it all? I don't know. Do that homework. Kit Fraser, thanks a lot, buddy. You know, kids from Jewett City, yeah. get used to race with us. He was here for a while. Oh, this was hard. Got a bad yeah. tire in the right rear and seven cylinders, and she still won. Well, you know, you ran pretty hard. You smoked the tires almost every time around a racetrack. You had a lot of competition right in your back bumper. Did you know the boys were right there breathing fire? Well, I could hear them. It's just uh, I wanted it. I, evidently, you wanted it pretty bad. The young man's walking around over here. He's just so happy he doesn't know what to do first. Moose, once again, congratulations. Go out and party. Oh, believe it. Moose, congratulations. He's just so happy, folks, he won't sit still.